God is good. All the time. And all the time. The announcements are in your bulletin. There's a couple that we'd like to highlight this morning. The first one is that our silent auction that is taking place in the fellowship hall, uh, the, the bidding will end uh, today. At, we never really came up with a clear time. 11.30? We'll go with 11.30. So bid often and bid much. All of it will be going to the general funds to help us close out the year in the black and hopefully pay our apportionments at 100%. Um, all of the I Love Lucy stuff that we have is out there. Some of you have seen it in my office. There are some great items out there, so you don't want to miss out on this op opportunity. I invite uh, Zoe and Logan to come forward to share a special announcement with you today. Um, I'm Zoe Huntley and this is Logan and we are part of our senior high UMYF. On Christmas Eve our church hosts two church services and the senior UMYF would like to have luminaries outside of the church to greet people as they enter. We have placed white bags in Fellowship Hall for you to take if you would like to decorate a luminary. Please return the decorated luminary next Sunday to the same place in Fellowship Hall. The decorated luminaries will be placed outside on Christmas Eve for both of our services. Thank you for helping us celebrate Christmas. And also uh, tomorrow we will have a celebration of life service for Alice Prentice at 11 a.m. with visitation starting at 10. Let us pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for this time and this place to be able to come and, and to worship you. To give you thanks for all of which you have given to us. We pause as we remember and get prepared for the birth of your son one more time. We pray for those who are ill or in pain this day that your healing touch would be upon them. And we pray for those who are grieving and lift up the Smith and Prentice families to you, that your peace and your comfort would surround them. In your precious and holy name we pray. Amen. I invite you to stand as we sing together, Rise Up, Shepherd, and Follow. And there's a leader part and an all part. So if you want to know when the leader sings, you'll look at Steve Bradburn. And if you want to know when the rest of us sing, you'll look at everybody else. and pass the peace.
join with us in singing uh, Silent Night, Holy Night, number 239, and we'll be singing verses 1, 3, and 4. We have lit the first two candles, one for hope and one for peace. Today, we light the third candle, the candle of joy. This should be the easy one, because joy is all around us, in the children, the lights, the music, and the gathering together. But how often do we let our preparations or our memories push joy to the side? Joy is like an underground spring that wells up within us, but joy is also a choice, an attitude. Like a muscle, it needs to be exercised. So today we open ourselves to joy, trusting that God has already planted it in us. All we need to do is give it care and offer it to share.
loving God, loving ourselves to you, trusting that this is how you made us. You created us for joy filled hearts and lives. Show us the creative power of love. Teach us the peace that comes from justice. Fill us with the kind of joy that cannot be contained, but must be shared. Let us sing together, He is Born, number 228. ushers to come forward to take up our morning tithe and offering.
Most generous God, we ask that you would pour out your blessing on these gifts, just a small portion of what you have been, what you have given to us, that they may be used to spread your good news. In your name we pray. Amen. You may be seated and you know, one of the things that taking up the offering did was it allowed me to see that I skipped some things on the program. And so we're going to go back and pick some of those up. I, I did that not on purpose. It was a complete accident. But uh, we'll go to the UMW minute, and then we'll, uh, we'll um, hit Aaron's uh, uh, special music, piano music. Yes, there we go, uh, right after that. So Grace and whoever else is with you. Each year, our United Methodist Women recognize persons who have dedicated much time and effort to serve our church. This year, we are proud to honor Rebecca Masters, Kristen Ross, and Heidi Goble. So would Rebecca, Heidi, and Christy please join us up here? Recently, when our church went to having volunteers to head Christian education, these three women stepped forward, Rebecca as Sunday School Superintendent, Kristen as Camping Coordinator, and Heidi in charge of VBS, our Vacation Bible School. They have taught Sunday School, served on Education Committee, Staff Parish Relations Committee, the New Beginnings Campaign, Church Council, and worked with our youth groups. It is with pleasure we present you with a special mission recognition pin and a certificate that states a gift for ministries with women, children, and youth have been given in your name to the United Methodist Women National Office. Would you please join us in recognizing the contributions of these three women? invite Aaron Masters to come forward to play Angels We Have Heard on High on the, on the piano. Good morning. Good morning. As I said last week, this week's program is called Christmas Reading. Our goal this year was to kind of go back to more tradition, to talk and teach the kids about what it actually says in the Bible about the Christmas story. Not what you hear on TV, not what you hear and see in books, but what the Bible actually has to teach us. 
the pre-K through fourth grade worked on the songs to make sure that they knew their parts. The fifth, sixth, and seventh graders, however, I expected more of. So what I did is I printed the Christmas reading, and I took it to them three weeks prior to last week and said, we are going to learn how to assess whether the Bible is being accu accurately re re presented before we do this. So they had to go through each reading. They had to see what she changed. They had to approve the changes that she made, or they had to say, no, that's not appropriate. Let's change it back. They had to decide if the, the readings were representative. She had some verses wrong they fixed. So the 5th, 6th, and 7th graders were the editors to this program and have put a lot of work into it to prepare it for you guys today. So I'm buying us a little bit of time because Joseph just played a solo, <laughs> so he's getting his costume on. And so we'll be ready to start here in just a minute. Please enjoy. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us.
God sent the God sent the angel Gabriel to a city called Nazareth with a message for a young girl. Mary, a virgin, was engaged to Joseph, a descendant of David. And when Gabriel appeared, Mary was greatly troubled. Gabriel said to her, be not, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. 